Good morning from Anaheim. We're here at our hotel. We had a really nice morning. We went to church at the, um, what was the name of the place called? Yeah. We went to um, the Christ Cathedral, which used to be the Crystal Cathedral that you would see on TV, and it's now a Catholic parish, and you can see it actually from our hotel. I'll have to zoom in on it. And yeah, it was a really nice service and really, really beautiful. I'll insert some photos that I took while we were there. And yeah, really, really nice. We had a great time. We, when we were walking back, we got Carl's Jr. Show the bag. Carl's Jr. And then I got this from the pool bar. And so we're being very Californian and hanging out. And we're gonna watch the view here from our balcony. Yeah, and look here over this way. Let me show some of the view, what we have here on our from our balcony, what we can see. So. Out this way, there's a parking lot that's kind of like Disney, one of the Disney overflow lots, I think. Um, I think cast members park there. And out here is the mountains. There's some buildings there. This way, right there um, where you see that cross. And then also this big like crystal building, that is where we went to church earlier. So yeah, we had Ubered there and then now we are back here and we walked back. <laughs> it was a pretty long walk, but it was really cool. We got to see, we stopped in one of the local grocery stores and looked around and like I said, we now got Carl's Jr. And they give you, if you order fries and we also got, what is this? This is the fried zucchini. zucchini. Fried zucchini and we got ranch. This is a bonus waffle fry. A bonus <laughs> waffle fry. <laughs> Nothing screams tourists like french fries from Carl Jr's and wine in a plastic cup. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> it's so true though. Oh, and my, here, let me get mine. <laughs> I'll insert the picture you took of me holding up the Carl's Jr bag and my smoothie. We're heading back out again now and we're going to go to the packing house <laughs> here in Anaheim and this place sounds really cool we've heard a lot of great things about it and it's a historic building here in Anaheim and they used to use it for it was produce right just to they pack the produce and right. ship it out and I guess the days before a lot of the commercial trucking companies and everything and yeah eventually it fell by the wayside and it was just abandoned for a while and in recent years they've kind of tried to revitalize it and now it's kind of like a big foodie paradise where they just have all these different kiosks and everything um, that have just all different types of food everyone can kind of get whatever they want and then they have one big like seating area in the center so it's pretty neat everyone can get something different they have everything from you know meals to then snacks and desserts so we are excited to check it out are you guys ready i'm ready let's yay go. let's go <laughs> here we are anaheim packing house oh no you, you can kind of smell oranges <laughs> called the black sheep and it is a grilled cheese bar they make a bunch of different types of grilled cheese oh a crepe station I like the sounds of that <laughs> so pretty how they have everything decorated oh yeah they have the savory section and then also the sweet section for crepes Here's all the different desserts that they have here. 
Oh my gosh, look at the grape third, how it looks like it's like airbrushed. <laughs> my mom Pistachio. loves I macaroons. Love macaroons. <laughs> Yum. So much. Vanilla. Look at these. Oh, that looks good with the little raspberries. I'll have mixed nut tar. Oh, wait, it's this one. I don't know what the one is there in the middle with the raspberries, but it looks good. Everything looks so good. Raspberry. Yeah, I can't get over how they make that look like it's airbrushed. We want to try these at some point, these Hawaiian kettle chips. We've never seen them before and we've seen them at our hotel. So we think it must be like maybe a local thing or something. It's at least something we can't get where we're from. So we have to try them at some point. a great looking sushi. So here that's an option. Because I do really like my sushi and we haven't had any here in California yet and California's like known for their sushi. So we'll have to try. Ooh, orange. Those look really good. Oh I love tempura. That one that one's calling out to me if I go with this option. I heard a lot about online. They have all these different teas and drinks that they make. Oh, look, they have all the cups there lined up. <laughs> oh, I am. They have smoothies and shaved snow. are making these here. Right? Oh. You know, these people just got some and it's like steaming. It's like smoking out. Place has homemade ice cream. And the things here in this case look amazing. It reminds me of something you get in Disney. Just pass this gourmet popsicle, please. And here, when we come in, they have a bunch of like merchandise for here at the Packing House. They have some really unique things. And they have like t shirts and stuff that say Anaheim Packing House. We haven't even made it downstairs yet. There's just so many decisions to be made. What do we want to have? Oh wow, look at that. What are, are those chopsticks or are they yep. clothes pins? Chopsticks. But wait, they have like a clip on them here. They're for people that don't know how to use chopsticks, like me. Oh, and me, for that matter. Okay, these are precious. It's just like a little like coin purse or something and they have a donut and a waffle. Okay, the donut's really cute. <laughs> and then this pizza, pizza pouch. You can put stuff in that. Oh, and a big cookie. That's adorable. Oh, what is this? It's your favorite. It's, it's a, a macaroon. macaroon. Pistachio flavor. Oh, and then the strawberry one. That's yes. so cute. <laughs> tractors like at Disney Springs at the Art Smith restaurant they have those they're making crepes right now at the crepe coop that's awesome how they have to get it just so thin over there 
where they're filling one up. Look, here's all the different things they have here. So I think I'm gonna go with the rainbow cloud and put the strawberry lemonade in it. I went with, it's called the Rainbow Cloud. So it comes with the cotton candy and the Fruity Pebbles. And then you can pick any cold drink that you want to go in it. So I went with the Strawberry Lemonade and it comes with the fresh um, warm boba, which I've always wanted to try. It's like those little bubbly things that are down at the bottom of the drink. So I'm excited to try this. I just stirred up my drink and you can just tell it is so fresh they have. You can tell there's like whole chunks of strawberry down in the bottom of here. And then of course the cotton candy on top. I'm so excited to try this. All right, Megan's trying her lemonade concoction from the Anaheim Packing House. Can't use that one, you have to use the big one. What do you think? Oh my gosh, that's the best lemonade I ever had in my life. Really? Tell you that. Yeah. Look at that, look at the cotton candy. It just is so, like you can tell it is fresh. Because sometimes I think that lemonade for me like can get too tart tasting, but this just tastes like the strawberry just smooths it out. It's good. It is really good. But the presentation on it, look at that. With the I know all the. Here, candy. let me try the cotton candy now. Ooh. That's good. You guys gotta try that. Okay. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> We're trying it next. item if you're here you have to get something from this place because I just I loved it the boba was so unique and it's warm boba but you can't really tell it's warm because then it's in the cold drink so it kind of balances out but it's good it's just it's kind of like my mom described it well, really well being like a gummy bear type consistency and it was very messy to eat very sticky if you get all that I did on top but so worth it because it is so so good so I am enjoying it we came downstairs, and then this right here, this door that she's about to go into, that is a hidden speakeasy that very, very few people know about. Here's the menu. I like how they have these letters here. We're now out front of the packing house, and they're like tied. They have them coming from all different directions. Pretty neat. We were excited we got to see that hidden door for the speakeasy. That was really cool. So, you know, we're in there and then we realized, what is boba? And it is a pearl, it's like a tapioca type thing. So, that makes sense. <laughs> I came here to bubblegum shrimp. I got the accidental fish and shrimp. 